So Extraction is our latest Netflix movie. It's written by one of the Russo brothers, produced by the other, directed by a guy who's in charge of a lot of stunts for the MCU, and also, did I mention Chris Hemsworth stars in it? So right off the bat, one of the best things about this movie is the action. This movie is non-stop action. It is rated R, so you know it's going to be a lot more bloodier than your other kind of movies. And kind of similar, it reminds me a good bit of the John Wick movies. Now, the John Wick movies, because they're lads in suits, it's not as brutal as this movie is, where I thought this was brutal, because this is the soldiers fighting other soldiers, so it can be a lot more bloodier, which really works for that R rating. So the action sequences really live up for to it as i said though at the start the director is a guy who has got a background in stunt choreography so the fact that he's directing he's able to understand action a good bit more so that was one of the greatest things about this movie is the action for the movie itself and the action isn't just people punching each other it's also just a car chase there's knife fights there's a lot of shooting out in this movie which is something i was expecting going and i was expecting a lot of gun fights but also it feels a lot now i don't know if chris hemsworth actually did his own stunts but it felt like it was all shot in place and it felt like Chris Hemsworth was actually there. I kind of imagine and kind of hope he actually did, did do his own stunts because it felt so gritty, it felt so real and I was just very surprised at how great this action was. Especially because it is going straight to Netflix. Netflix has been kind of getting a good reputation lately for doing good movies but honestly this action was just, it was shocking for a Netflix kind of budget. And this movie does have a set villain, so you know who, you realistically, you know who the bad guy is. But there's multiple cases throughout this movie where there's some people where some one character likes him, but the other character doesn't. So it's not really a movie where you're watching it and you really don't know who to trust. You know, you got Chris Hemsworth and he's hit, they're protecting that kid, trying to get the kid from point A to point B. But throughout it, you're meeting all these characters and some people like this kid and some people don't like this kid. But then some people like Chris Hemsworth and some people don't like Chris Hemsworth. So you really don't know who the characters can trust and who can work with these characters to get the kid from point day to be so that kind of story dynamic really kept the movie going at such a quick pace where the movie never really stopped for me it kept moving kept moving it was a really quick paced movie i think having all the conflict coming in from loads of different areas constantly joining in and kind of battling them going off that really helped keep the movie going at such a quick pace the only negative i actually have for this movie is the relationship between chris hemsworth and this boy it kind of seemed a bit forced towards the end of the movie. It felt like, okay, we need them to have a big kind of relationship, a real big bond at the end of it. And at the end of it, I just kind of felt like it was a bit forced and kind of came out of nowhere. Like, there was a few scenes throughout the movie that kind of helped build this relationship. But the way it came through at the end, it kind of seemed like it was a bit too much for what they went through. Maybe maybe it could work for some people personally i just didn't really buy the relationship between these two men but other than that i actually did enjoy this movie i think it is the perfect type of movie for netflix i don't think like if this went to cinema i don't think it would do exceptionally well action movies don't really do well like as i said though john wick does pretty well in cinema because that's got brand recognition at the stage but maybe chris hemsworth might do well in cinema i don't really know i think if you're gonna do an action movie like this go straight to cinema it has to do really good and word about so maybe because this is really it's a good action movie it would do well in cinema but honestly I think Netflix is the best place for this movie to actually go. So that's my review for Extraction. Personally, I'm just a massive fan of action movies. So that's why I had a feeling I was going to go into this movie. I had a feeling I was going to enjoy it. But if you're someone who's, say, seen the John Wick movies and you don't enjoy it, honestly, you're not going to enjoy this movie because they are very similar. Like, I know my mom isn't a fan of John Wick, so I'm not going to recommend John Wick to my mom. So that's the same kind of thing. Like, I'm not going to recommend this movie to you if you're not a fan of action movies. But if you have seen this movie, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But if you are a fan of action movies as well, it's on Netflix for free. Give it a shot. It is definitely worth the watch. So, with all that said, I will be doing a ranking in the next day or so of the four Purge movies. So if you want to hear my thoughts on those movies, click that subscribe button so you can come back when I do that ranking. And as always, thank you for watching.